Hi, this is Lindy King with California College Transfer, and I'm now doing my second uh, video for you on engineering majors. This one is for, for UCLA. I just did one on Berkeley, if you want to go look at that. Um, as I had mentioned in the other one, um, that one of the reasons that I'm doing this is because um, the UCs have now just released for every single UC uh, what the transfer GPA range is for all admitted students for every single major at every UC. So uh, UC, UCLA has always had it, but now they all have it. So I'm going to go through, I thought, the engineering majors since they're one of the most popular ones. So I did, like I said, I did Berkeley. You can find it. I'm now doing UCLA for 2015, and we'll start uh, right now. And uh, so there are seven majors, engineering majors, in the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. And um, there's a range. This actually did change this year from what UCLA used to do. They used to just put one GPA number in, which was the average GPA. Starting this year, they're doing a range, which is the mid 50%. So the lower number is the, low, the lowest 25th percentile that got in and the top one is the uh, top 75th percentile. So it's that middle 50%. So there are some people that got in with higher than the 75th, which obviously would be like 4.0. And then there are a few who got in below 25th percentile. Not too many, especially uh, in engineering, but it does happen. And as I said um, on the Berkeley one, it really um, it would depend on who your other who the other applicants are, how competitive they are. You might be lucky if you're a little under the range that the applicants maybe weren't as strong as years past. But you really do, especially for engineering, want to get in that mid range. It's very competitive. You need A's. Uh, if you are applying and you're under the range, you should hopefully have a lot of extracurricular activities or at least one really good one that is related to engineering. So, okay, so we're going to start now with the first one, which is aerospace engineering, and the range is 3.83 to 4.0. This is for 2015 fall applicants. Uh, the 3.83 is the low 25th percentile, so there are some that got in a little lower. Um, the applicants, there were 140 applicants. 17 were admitted, and this is uh, the second really important number after the GPA, and that is the admit rate. And it was 12% of the applicants got in. This lets you know how um, selective a major is. The lower the number, obviously, the, the harder it is to get in. Okay, now we're going to go to chemical engineering. GPA range 3.85 to 4.0. 252 applicants. 32 were admitted uh, with an admit rate of 13%. Next, we have civil engineering. Uh, range 3.77 to 3.95. Applicants 243. Admitted 31. Admit rate 13%. Computer science and engineering, 3.9 uh, to 4.0. 317 applicants. 35 admitted, 11% uh, admit rate. Electrical engineering has, you see the range there, 3.80 to 4. 403 applicants, 65 admitted, 16% admit rate. Uh, materials engineering is 3.83 to 3.99. Applicants 53, admitted 11. And um, 21% admit rate. The last one is the mechanical engineering and that is 3.77 to 3.98. 555 applicants and 87 admitted with an admit rate of 16%. Um, now, what I've done is, and I mentioned it on the other one, I have an infographic I've created of both UCLA and UC Berkeley with all the stats, the GPA, the admit rate, application numbers, that sort of thing. There's um, a link down below in the comments that you can get that infographic. Uh, you can also go, UCs, um, there's also a link underneath there. The UCs have a site that you can go look at all the different UCs, all the different majors, and, and get an idea of how your GPA matches with the range for that major. You really need to try to always be in the range so you're a competitive student. So that is it for UCLA, and thank you for watching.